Welcome back to the shop. I'm Jeff from Today's Craftsman. Um, if you've been following along, you know that we've been working on a kitchen and we just finished that up this week. We had those cabinets CNC cut and we showed you a sneak peek of it a couple months ago. We're all done and we thought we'd show you some of the tools that we like to use on cabinet installation. This is not a, uh, a full list. We have a, a whole van full of tools, but we thought these 10 were very cool. So we wanted to show them to you. Um, start out here with pin nailer. So it doesn't have to be a cordless pin nailer. We happen to use this gas Grex 23 gauge. So this uses a little um, gas cartridge as well as a couple batteries. So this would be similar to like a pass load if you're familiar with those. And they do make 18 gauge nailers now, um, but we prefer the gas. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. This is great, shoots up to a two inch pin. So this is used for attaching, you know, crown molding, Sometimes you need to whip up little jigs on site. So this is really nice to have. And we, uh, we always bring this in with us. Here is a stud finder. This is from Franklin Sensors. We had a different version of this, but we just upgraded to this one. This one actually shows you if there's um, wires behind the wall. So with this, you, you hold it against the wall and you, uh, you press this button here, and obviously there's no studs back there, so it's not gonna show anything, or well, maybe it, it will light up. Um, but this will light up where you have a stud, and this will light up if there's a wire there. So always good to know where your studs are. Um, we like to get to the site if the walls are open before we uh, you know, install, so that we can measure the walls with a, with, a, with a camera and a tape measure, and actually see where the studs are, so we, we know. Um, Here's my favorite caulk gun. So this is a Tajima Convoy Light. A little bit different than most caulk guns in that this barrel is actually removable. So you put your, your tube of caulk in there and lock it in. I like this one a lot. It's very light, as the name implies. Um, very nice in terms of the, the dripless feature. So it doesn't continue to drip out after you uh, let go of the trigger. So we use this, you know, for caulking everything in at the end, no matter how tight your scribes are, if you're doing painted cabinetry, you always have to caulk everything in. So I highly recommend this caulk gun. Have right angle drill. We uh, use Makita cordless in the van. So this comes in super handy if you have anything that's in tight quarters. You know, a regular drill driver, you're talking, you know, let's say about this deep with a bit. Here we can get with just a, we can put just a one inch by quarter inch bit in here and we're only a couple inches. So we were putting in fridge panels on Monday and we had to remove screws that were in the bottom of the door. So we were able to get this right on the floor and back out those screws. It was even a little tight with this, but with a regular drill, you know, there's no way you could do it. So this doesn't come out a lot, but when we need it, we have it very important. Oscillating multi-tool. I call it a multi-master, even though it's not a multi-master. This is from Makita as well. Um, you know, you run into things on site that need to be cut back, either, you know, crown molding that's existing in the house, baseboard that's existing, shoe molding. Uh, it's good for cutting your shims after you set your cabinets. You can use a knife, but this is a little faster. If you have thick shims, this cuts them a lot better. Uh, so you definitely have to have one of these if you're doing an install. And the nice thing about this is that, you know, the, the blade can be positioned in multiple, multiple positions. So you have all these pins and, uh, you know, you can position it oh, in any one of those, those little detents. So nice feature. They're, they have different types of blades. This is something that I never leave the shop without. You have to have a good mallet on install. Double-sided mallet is nice. We have a soft black face here and a hard red face here. This is from Halder. It's a Simplex 40. So it's a 40 millimeter uh, diameter on the head. You know, you want to be able to knock stuff around and not damage it. So um, we never bring out a hammer on an install. We have one, you know, if we had to say pry a nail out of out of a board, you know, that we found, you know, behind something, say, situation like that. But we're always using a mallet. 
This is always right on my tool belt. Um, you know, you're, you have to tap your, your panels to get the right reveals, you know, tapping cabinets over a little bit. This is great. So I have one of these in the shop and one that I keep in the van. You have to have tape. So we use frog tape. Um, I have, I think basically every size, but this is a pretty common size. It's like, uh, what is it? Inch and seven eighths. And we use these tadpole tape cutters. So these are nice in that it retains the tape like a packing tape cutter. And you get these nice straight edges, which for me is great because <laughs> an angled edge on the tape drives me crazy. But we use this for labeling stuff, um, temporary drawer pulls. So if you install a cabinet with drawers and you don't have the pulls installed, you can actually uh, make a temporary handle with tape by putting it into the cabinet and then out. So you can pull that to open up the drawer, uh, all kinds of stuff, labeling, you know, pieces of blocking, you know, for the countertop guys that say, don't put glue here, all kinds of stuff. So you have to have tape. We have this tool right here. This is the height adjustment tool for the Hafela axilla legs. So we use these legs on all of our cabinets. I think we've shown them in the past and these are adjustable plastic legs. So we're able to level our cabinets without shims. And what this tool does is it interfaces with the foot and we can turn the handle, see, and raise or lower the cabinet. And the nice thing about this tool is it's long enough where we can reach the legs in the back of the cabinet from the front. And we can also hook it up to a drill so that we can adjust up and down nice and quickly. Um, if you try these legs out, you're never gonna go back to building cabinets with full gable ends. These are the best. They have accessories to attach your toe kicks. Um, another great product from Hayfalo. We love these. We have 360 laser level. Uh, you see we have a tripod mount on there. So we mount this on a tripod and this is a three axis. So we have one that goes this way, one that goes this way, and one that goes this way. I can show you. So here's our level line. This is a plumb line and that's a perpendicular plumb line. So you see that X and then we also have, where is it? Oh, we also have the horizontal as well. So what we do when we start an install is we set this up in the room and we can find our high point and our low point and decide where we're going to set our cabinet. So you have to take into account your appliance heights, um, where you have crown molding terminating into the ceiling. So it's important before you start installing cabinets that you find these high and low points so that you make sure you're setting your cabinets in the right spot. Uh, we like the green laser and we use Bosch 12 volt in the shop. So it was an easy choice to go with the 12 volt Bosch. I believe lastly, we have this here, and this is one of the last tools that we use on an install. This is the True Position hardware jig. So this is an aluminum cabinet hardware jig. Um, you know, it's adjustable. You have a stop here that you can hook on the top of your door. These are adjustable for different widths of hardware. Um, and they do offer extensions so you can do large hardware. So basically you have a, an adjustable stop here so that you can set in from your edge. And then you have your stop here so you can hook the top or the bottom of the door. And obviously this is, it would be more like that. And you set these to the width of your hardware and you can drill, it's very repeatable. Um, we use this on the kitchen that we just finished and we had four or five different sizes of hardware. So it was very easy to set this up, drill, you know, with no mistakes. Well worth the money, made in the USA. Really good tool. This, I was uh, telling John, you know, remember when the True Position tool was all over Instagram? It kind of, you know, um, fell out of notoriety, I think, you know, uh, after a while, after, you know, people stopped talking about it, people sort of forgot, but this is still a tool that we use on every every install. 
So that's 10 of the tools that we use on installations. Certainly not all of them. You know, we have our drill driver, power planer. Um, we keep a little three inch sander, all kinds of tools. We have an entire van full of tools and maybe we'll show you that as well. If you'd like to see that or if you have any questions, let us know down in the comments and we'll see you next week.